Hey guys, welcome back to another chess video. I know I said in the description that I was going to revive my channel with chess and that would probably imply that I was going to start uploading a lot. And I'm going to try to do that over the summer, but I've just been really busy with school and shit. So, uh, I'm back to playing some chess. I haven't, really, I haven't even played in uh, like two weeks. So, um, let's see if I'm still able to play the game. Okay, I'm playing as a black this time. Uh, I'll just respond with e5. I was considering playing a Sicilian, but like, eh. dude, it's e5. Just play a okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, standard. Okay, this is very strange. Okay, I'll play this move. Attacking his pawn. Let's play this. Okay, he really does not want me to uh, put anything over there, but he'll learn that these are that those are weaknesses if I can prove it. I'm not the greatest in chess, so might not be able to, but whatever. Okay. Okay, he's attacking my knight for some reason. I'm gonna go strike in the center with d5 okay he actually should not be taking that with the pawn I think okay he has that okay let's just keep taking more material And once he takes back, we can immediately start to attack with their bishop because now that's a really weak point. Actually, not immediately because he has this. So, uh, it's really annoying. Uh, how do I defend it? Should I? Uh, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to defend this pawn very well. Uh, if I go here, what happens is knight comes, doesn't seem like his knight goes anywhere, and I just attack his knight. So, uh, yeah, I'll just play this move, I guess, defending my pawn. I, I'm not hitting my queen, so, like, it's okay. Oh, shit! Oh, I had it. I had this! I forgot about my rook, bro. That's crazy. Oh, so whatever. Uh,. If I go here, I threaten mate, which is cool, I guess. So, yeah. Okay, he actually moved his pieces this time. Okay, I'll just bring my rook to this file, which looks nice. Uh oh. Actually, it's not that bad, right? Uh oh, that is bad. Oh. Wait a second. Oh, no, no, no. That doesn't even. Because he takes the pawn. And I can't defend it properly. Damn it, I think I lost. Uh. Okay, I'll just do this instead. Can't really afford to, like, r remove all this pressure. He was better for him to take with the pawn, but whatever. Okay, let's go over here, because it seems okay. It attacks this pawn, and it's also being pinned to the rook, so that's nice. And by the way, I th this is not an idea, because if he takes and I take his... I had to take his queen, I'm pretty sure. Not, not really. Because it's protected anyway. Okay, you know what? Maybe he has to give me his rook back. Okay. I take it, and I, I will not take his queen. I will take his rook. 
And if he takes back, I just have to take his queen. And we're okay. And I take his other pawn too. And now we're actually up because... Oh, right, he does that. Now we're even in material, but we're still doing really well. Not anymore, I think I just take this pawn, right? Where does the knight go? Nowhere, really. I just go here. Now I can start to like bring, to pile up on the side. If he doesn't like do anything about the knight, I actually just take with the bishop. Take with the bishop, he takes it back, I take his pawn again. Okay, correct move. Then how do I defend this, huh? I'll defend it while attacking him, which is good. Yeah, he plays that move, but it's okay. Okay. I think it's better to play this move because this move prepares to bring the rook upwards. All the other move doesn't. Okay. He's piling up on it a lot. Uh, Okay, I'll just play like a multi-purpose move like this. We're not gonna get back rank made, I think, so we're gonna be okay. Okay. Actually, I think I have this move, right? That's really good. As I attack his queen and his rook. And if he moves back, the queen takes anyway. He moves, he moves that way. That's his only move. But that's good for me because I have more pawns, and that means I get to win an end game. Uh, no, I'm gonna get back rank if I do anything else. So let's trade and let's play f5, f6. I just realized that the queen would just take that. Yeah, cool. Not really worried. Uh, I'm just going to play something like h6. So he doesn't take my pawn. I'll go here. Okay, let's bring the king towards the front of the board. It's a little bit more dangerous though. Oh, hell no! <laughs> hell no, bro. He just blundered his queen away. Damn. Okay, yeah, that's completely game over. If he does that, then, uh, yeah. Alright, well, that's a pretty funny game. Uh, I was down a lot at the beginning. I made a few mistakes, but then he uh, blundered his queen at the end, which is nice. So that's the end of the game. Let's keep going. I'll play for another 10, another game. So I like, I'll play as black again. I got 20 points for that. That's kind of crazy. Okay, this time I'll play the Sicilian because it's funny. I like that. Oh, okay. Oh, he's playing that. Oh, he thinks he's playing a Scandinavian. <laughs> okay. I'll go do this because I want to play like... Uh, okay then. It's not really a threat without... Yeah, that that's a little bit more scary this time, but we're okay. He has a knight g5 though, which can be a problem. Okay, I'm gonna play d6 now. Might have been better to play e6 though. What the hell? Okay. Dude, he's not even gonna play the check? God damn. Alright, I'll just develop my knight. It's not even an issue of castling rights anyway, because like. 
Uh, I'm wondering how should I respond to this. I could actually respond to it by just pushing the pawn one more time. I don't want to respond to it with the bishop because you have this check and he'll I lose, so. Okay, let's just uh, bring the knight towards the center of the board. Yeah, he's not threatening to capture it, plus they also have this capture. I'll go here. Actually, no, I want to go here because I want to threaten to trade. Threading to trade when you're up material is very good. And if he doesn't do anything about this, I just ruin his pawn structure, which is really good. If he doesn't do anything about that, I just put my queen up, he attack, and we have a good day. Um, all right then. I'll trade here because he has to take back with the knight and now he has no more knight over there. I, and his knight not being there is very good for us. Oh, what the hell? I mean, that is a check. I forgot to put that. Okay. Whatever. Okay, first off, uh, which square should I move this to? I want to threaten a battery over here. Okay. I'll put it over here so I have more options because I, I also want to move it to F6. Okay. That That is a move, but it also uh, allows me to do this, which is nice to me. Yep. All right. Let's see. His rook is attacking my bishop, but my bishop is defended. Is like my pieces aren't really pinned to anything, so I think we're doing okay. I'll just move my rook over here. He doesn't really have any other any moves on me. Okay, he is attacking my pawn another time. Uh, should I just defend it one more time? Because uh, if I take, he has like stuff. He, he forgot about the free pawn over here, but whatever. Uh, he's playing way too fast, by the way. Jesus Christ. I'll just defend my pawn one more time. If he attacks it, I have some slight backwards. Uh, not really. I kind of want the rooks to be over here instead. Alright. Uh, not sure I want to ignore the threat, though. I don't want to open my king up anymore, though. Let's, actually, let's defend it like this. I don't want to... Uh-oh. That was, that was the purpose. Uh, I didn't even see that, Jesus Christ, okay. Oh, and if I would have taken a hat, I could have threatened mate and forced the queen to move, okay. Okay, we have to stay over here, though, because... Yeah, he takes the rook, right? Okay. Shit, he takes again. Okay, whatever. Oh, hell no, we're losing, we're losing. Does he see it? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ, okay. Okay, our only chance is to start making more threats than he is, so, um. I might get made, but, like, if I don't play something like this, then we lose, like, anyway, so. Okay. 
Whoa. Hell the wait, isn't that mate? He moves his king to this side. I I checkmate him, right? Oh my god, that's a mate. He's gonna get checkmate. Oh my god. I got cooked for a second, but I'm gonna win the game. Does he understand that? Oh my god, right. That's checkmate, right? I push the he takes, then this is mate. Let's see. If if this is not checkmate, I am losing. I forgot I have free moves disabled. My rook is not painted or anything, so we're good, right? He has no way to block that, and then the rook slides in as mate. Okay, if he's going to run down the clock, he's getting reported. I hate people who are running down the clock. I'm like, bro, come on, it's not even... This isn't Blitz, by the way, so I have to wait like 7 minutes before I win the game. That would be so stupid if he ran down the clock, bro. Yep, and then we go here. Wow, that was crazy! We had a comeback, bro. That was a crazy comeback. Three blunders. Some of them were made by me, probably. That was insane. He was winning the whole time, too. He was up the exchange, and he had a good attack. But the bishop over here, man. That bishop was clutch. Bishop to h3 was so clutch. Man, that just, like, really shows that you have to have a bishop fianchettoed here if you want to push that g-pot. Because otherwise, you have this massive weakness or something. Like, Jesus.